This video will show you how to make boards with the Dealer 4 machine we use in Duplicate Bridge. This is the equipment we're going to be using. I have it permanently set up. Uh, at least the dealer is permanently set up. There's the dealer right in the middle. And I've got an, an extra screen that I like to use to see what's uh, going on. I'm going to be using a small uh, XP laptop that's dedicated to this purpose. These are about 10 for a penny at garage sales, but they make very good machines for a single purpose. So the way I've got this set up now is I have my decks of cards in stacks of eight, uh, four stacks, 32. I have my DealMaker 4 sitting right here with its monitor screen, and I have where I'm going to Put things uh, right here. Okay, what we're going to do today is we are going to show you how boards are made. Not with the birds and bees, but with a uh, deal maker. Now, the first step in making up boards is to generate the boards. And for that, we're going to be using this program right here called Bridge Composer. Now, I'm going to make up two sets of boards uh, that I'll play next week, one day after the other. But I want to make them up now uh, so I don't have to make them up in <clears throat> the last minute. So the first step in this is to open up Bridge Composer, which I'm going to do right now and it will pop right open. And when Bridge Composer first comes up, it comes up in the one board or the one hand mode. Now, <clears throat> we're going to want to print out hand records and so we don't really want one board. Uh, I'm going to go over here and change it. I'm going to go to File, and do find page layouts right here. And I'm going to change it from one board to hand records because that's what we're going to want to be printing later. Okay, that's great. Oh, I didn't save it. Sorry. Do it again. Page layout. It's going to be hand records hand record and I have to go down here and say okay there we are now we're in hand records so the first thing we want to do is generate our boards now I'm only using 32 boards because I have less than uh, 12 tables actually you could use 32 boards up to 16 but anyway I have a small club and 32 boards serves our needs so to do that, I go up here to where it says Tools, right there, click on Tools, and go down to where it says Generate Random Boards, because that's what I want, are random boards. Now it gives me some options, and I'll go through them. I do want the double, double dummy analysis for all generated boards. The number of boards I want are not 33, but 32. I want to show each board during generation and the name of our site where we'll be playing is Salt and Pepper and I've already typed that in. The event is Katie Duplicate Bridge Club and the date it's going to start is not that date. I'm going to open it up and go down here to that date. That's the first game I want to play which will be next month on the 4th. We play Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, okay, that's fine. So now all I have to do is say generate and amazingly the boards pop up. Just a minute or less and I have everything. I it's doing the double dummy analysis now. That will happen very quickly, and you can see it being added to the hand records. So now I have my hand records, and I have everything ready. I want to save this uh, 
because I'm going to print it out later. So I'll do a file and I want to save as. And you notice it comes up with the date this was created for, 1804-0904. And that's great. That is exactly the uh, date that I want. And I will say save. I've already got one, so I want to know if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. Okay, so we've done one. And uh, our next step in this adventure will be to do the, uh, to actually make the boards. And I'll show you how to do that uh, next. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually load our uh, deal maker, uh, not in the Trump sense, but we're going to load the thing that actually shuffles and uh, deals out our cards for us. And that program is Deal 4, Dealer 4, sitting right here. And I'm going to click on that bad boy and open it up. And it wants to know a whole bunch of stuff. Because you see, DealMaker can generate boards too. But I don't use any of that. What I do is generate it, as I showed you, with uh, uh, Bridge Composer. And then I load the file into here. And the way you do that is you go up here to File. And you do a load. And now it wants to know where is this... Uh, thing that you want to load and it's in documents and settings I know that and it's in uh, Bob in my documents and there it is it's 180904 that's the first one I'm going to do it's really the only one I'm going to show y'all but it's the bridge maker uh, output format it's got the little uh, red diamond on it so that's the file I want to load. So I'll say OK, open that. And it will load it. There it is, file name. So uh, it says we're going to do 32 boards. Very good. So now all we have to do is uh, go up here where it says deal, right here and say deal. Uh, well the reason it can't communicate is I haven't turned on cancel that. <laughs> I haven't turned on the machine. So let me turn on the machine and then I will come back to you. Okay now one of the first things after we get everything set up we have to turn on our deal maker. And we do that by hitting the start key. Start key is right there. I'm going to hit that. You notice power comes on. And we should be up and running at this point. And I need to plug in the USB cable that comes from the computer right here. It goes in there, and it's conveniently marked this side up, and it plugs in just like that. Okay, so I've hit deal, and it says board one, we're ready for board one, and uh, that's fine. Board one, dealer is north, and gives me all those. So now I'm going to go over to my deal maker. All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how we first get started. And the way we do, we have to start with two boards made up. We'll take the cards out of two boards and we will put them in the hopper. Take the cards out of the second boards and I'll put those in the hopper. Now normally I would have an assistant here doing this for me, but you can do it all by yourself if need be. And I'll open these boards so they're ready for me. And I will take the first board. Now, 
there we are we're ready to start now I'll show you how to start okay all right the way you do this is you take the first board and you slide it in here and hold it in now you see the start button here I'm going to hit the start button and then we're going to start to deal and I will show you the dealer working so now it should start to deal okay we finished with the first board I slide it out close the board make sure it's closed put it into the case take the second board I'm ready to do that but before I do it I have to make ready the next board and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to take the cards out of it and put them in the hopper this is something my assistant would normally be doing if I had one today put them in the hopper and now they're in the hopper so now I'm ready to start with my second board and I'll simply slide the second board in carefully it's in I heard it click and I'll hit the start button and all the cards are dealt now I slide that out close it up carefully put it in the case and now I go over here get my next board prepare the board to follow by taking the cards out putting them in the hopper get this board open ready to go all right now I'm ready to do this one slide it in till it clicks hit the button. I like to kind of hold my fingers on it just because it makes me feel good all right now I'm gonna pull this one out and you see how it how it goes I'm not gonna videotape every board but I will uh, come back here at the end and show you the last board. Thank you. What we're going to show you now is uh, the last two boards that go in. Uh, we spared you all the the other, see all these right here? We spared you all those, but I'm going to show you the last two boards. I've got two decks in the hamper, and I'm dealing with board number... 31 now so I'll stick it in hit the start button and off we go we're dealing 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 take it out close it up put it in the hopper in the basket here and this is the last board I'll put the last board in like that hit the start button and it should tell me that we've got all the boards done now I've successfully dealt the last board in the set do you want to move to the first board well no I don't I'm done and that's gonna be about it now we have all the boards and uh, we've just dealt them thanks so much for your attention okay what we're going to show you now is uh, the last two boards that go in uh, we spared you all the the other see all these right here we spared you all those but I'm going to show you the last two boards I've got two decks in the hamper and I'm dealing with board number 31 now so I'll stick it in hit the start button off we go. We're dealing, dealing, dealing. Take it out. Close it up. Put it in the hopper. In the basket here. And this is the last board. Okay, this is the last board. I'll put the board in. And hit the start button. And it will deal it. dealt the last board in the set 
Do you want to move to the first board? Well, no, I don't. I'm done, and that's going to be about it. Now we have all the boards, and uh, we've just dealt them. Thanks so much for your attention.